Hi, my name is Sheldon Livesey. I'm the director for of One Accord Ministry, and I, I want to tell you something that even amazes me as I look back and think about it. All of the God stories that I have are, you know, sometimes they're tight places that you're in, but I was working for our family business when of One Accord Ministry started. I'm the founder, and for the first eight years, it was just a part-time effort for me. But the ministry began to grow. It grew not only in Rogersville, but it grew into Churchill. It grew into Hancock County to serve all of two Appalachian counties. And there got to be a time that we started needing somebody to do full-time work for the ministry. And we began looking through this process. Well, at the same time, the family business I worked with, flour and cornmeal and selling animal feeds, the grocery stores, the little uh, mom and pop stores up and down the roads began to close. The big stores began to take over. It was harder and harder to get contracts through those stores. And we held on as long as we could. And finally, in 1996, we had to close. Well, that left us with no income except maybe unemployment for whatever period of time. But then our board of directors met and they said, we really do need a full time director and we have to figure out a way to pay you because you've never figured that into the ministry operations so they struggled with this but they finally came up with four hundred dollars a month the unemployment had run out and now could i do this would i do this is this what god wanted and we prayed about it and felt yes step into this position because god was leading to do it so this has been some years ago now, but for a full two years, I worked $400 a month coming in. That was the only money I had coming in. I had a full family. I had four children at that time, a house, uh, not a mortgage payment, but a rent payment, all the utilities, car expenses, all of that. And you know what? I began to see miracles happen every month. Miracles that I just read about in books. Miracles that I thought were too good to be true. But I learned when God calls you to do something that he really does provide for you. $400 a month. And I never was late on any bill whatsoever. I was never behind on anything. God took care of it. Miraculous things happened literally every single month. We didn't have a lot of surplus, but we had what we needed. We got into the third year and the board decided, all right, we need to raise their money. That's, he's not making enough to live on. So they raised my income to $800 a month. Man, I didn't know what to do with that much money. And we got to the end of that period of time, to the end of uh, September, and they ran out of money completely, no money. So October, November, December, there was no money whatsoever. But you know what? Again, God stepped in and every single bill, every single expense was paid just like I had all the money in the world coming in. But, you know, this is this is amazing to me. I've never done so well or been so content as those three years that God was providing for us. It was living in faith. It was an expectancy every month and, and a, a, an excitement of seeing how this money was going to be provided. So I want to tell you first that God still does it. He doesn't call everybody maybe to that place, but he does call us to know that he still does it, that to know whatever the situation that you're in, if he leads you into situations that he's going to provide for you, he's going to help you, he's going to give you a way when you don't think that there's a way. When things would be impossible by world standards, God's still able to do it. So that's my story today of how God took us through a period of time where there really wasn't enough money even to live on, but God provided that money for us. So God bless you. Thank you for allowing me to share that today. You have a great day.